IGN live at Comic-Con. If you're just joining us, we're talking about The Witcher, Netflix's upcoming epic fantasy series. Nick and David here took a trip all the way to Hungary where The Witcher was being filmed. So what did they do? They made a video about a horse. Let's take a look. IGN visited the set of Netflix's The Witcher series as part of our exclusive coverage of the show, and we even managed to interview one of its biggest stars. If you could tell us one big spoiler from the season, what would it be? Well, there you have it, right from the horse's mouth. Stay tuned because we'll have exclusive, month-long IGN First coverage of Netflix's The Witcher later this year. <laughs>
but now that we can look back retroactively, we can borrow key elements from certain stories that might not appear later on in the series and kind of find a way to thematically tie it all together in earlier scenarios. So that's really cool. What did you guys think of Yennefer and Siri? Did you guys get to see them in action at all, or not? Got really? to see Yennefer in action. Yeah, uh, uh, Anya, which she was she, she was fantastic. I mean, again, we can't talk about what scene we saw being yeah. filmed, but um, I mean, yeah, she had you know the the outfit, you know, the mostly black colors. You know, I'm like, that's it's Yennefer. That's how mm -hmm. she's described in the book. That's how she is in the games. Again, these characters just being brought to life believably. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. I, I can't say too much, but she just she looked great. Yeah, so, she looked yeah. very good. Yeah. All right. Um, and then one thing actually that might put a lot of internet like naysayers yeah. at ease is one of the things that I've seen come up a lot, especially on the Witcher subreddit, mm -hmm. is people criticizing a lot of the armor design I was just gonna bring and that a lot up, yeah. of uh, like costume design and things mm -hmm. like that. And the important thing to remember is that costume designers are very good at their job. Yeah. And so we actually got an opportunity to, to look you at a bunch of You see some of the guys costumes. in the footage that we showed earlier, and, uh, the extras. They do a very good job. We saw a bunch of guards in red, and I'm assuming those are Temerian guards. I, I don't know, I hope so. Um, but we saw just like villagers, and they all look authentically like Witcher. And, and yeah. the thing that Witcher does very well is like peasants. Yeah. A lot of like varied types of peasants, different types of poverty, uh -huh. and they're all reflected in the costume design, which is really cool. Yeah, the image I just showed up there on the screen was a Nilfgaardian from the trailer, and that was, I think, that, I think a photo leaked online and people were being critical of the Nilfgaardians right there. But again, when you see it action, when you're actually up close, it, the detail is so crazy. The, all the armor looked great. And those guys that we saw, the extras that you see in our footage that we showed, they probably didn't, they probably won't even be on screen. You might not even see them. But the attention to detail is there and the costumes look believable. So they did an incredible job with the production. Mm -hmm. Geralt had two swords, right? We oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, so okay. as you know, this is an adaptation. I was like, maybe that, okay, okay, sorry. So the, might be this spoiler. Is Stay adaptation. tuned to our IGN First coverage oh, coming later this year. A whole month long. A whole month long. Sometime sometime later IGN, we have exclusive year. interviews with everybody. Yeah. They break everything down, and we have all of that information. Okay. But keep in mind, this is adapting the book. So okay, okay. in the games, he has bolt on his back, which is super cool looking. But in the books, we know that he usually only carries his steel sword, like the meteorite infused steel sword. Yeah. And on Roach, he has his silver sword, usually. OK. Um, so we got maybe a minute left. So I kind of wanted to go down the line. What do you want to see from the show? What do they need to do right? I want the, like, the, the weird little side quests. I want the, the, the moment to like We see all the, the big picture, like the big epic you know, fantasy stuff, which is cool. But I want like you know the one where, like, Geralt and Dandelion have to go deal with the devil who lives in the cornfield and solve his many puzzles and like throw rocks at his head or whatever. I forget what they do in that story. Help the or, like, farmer kill all those wolves yeah. for him. Yeah. yeah, I want like I want bizarre like those kind of like almost slice of life moments or when it's like oh he's gonna have to drink decoctions and bring his swords and kick some ass and then it's who winds up being like a weird like he just has to talk his way out of it. Like I want that kind of that fairy tale. I like that feeling too. To it. Yeah, at least one episode or something like that. Yeah. I I hope we see a lot of like the Grimm's fairy tale types type stuff where we. See see like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and ba uh, Blaviken. I want to see like Nivellon, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. I want to see stories like that because I think that The Witcher does a good job of recontextualizing them for adults and kind of saying like, here's the lesson you learned as a kid. Now let's adapt that for you as an adult. And what, wh where's, where's the truth in that adult humanity? Yeah, when you, when you dig into it, like The Witcher is basically like the, the woodsman from old fairy tales. Absolutely. Nice, okay. I wanna... David, really quickly. Really quickly, I want yeah. to know more about Geralt's and Yennefer's relationship. I want to see that develop from the early Aww. stages into the epic romance that we see, of course, in the games when they're much older. Just because it's just such a powerful romance. It's you like, want romance yeah. It's a fairy tale romance. Netflix, so. Yeah, I want to know more about that. <laughs> David, all about the love. I love it. All right, well, be sure to keep your eyes out for that Witcher IGN first later this year. But before that, we're going to get a chance to chat with the show's stars and showrunner. Coming up next, IGN Live will be right back. <laughs> 